<laughs> so this is kind of an awkward rock, right? Yeah, but I think I picked the wrong spot for her. It, it's not the most comfortable position, I know. It rocks, though. <laughs> it rocks? How, how? This is a great way to start an interview. I know. I know. Well, and I'm going to preface this as always. Um, this is a special edition of The Beat Goes On, global internet radio show on kvcmradio.com. And uh, I'm here with a very special guest, Ms. Raylynn Nelson. Hi, guys. Yeah, and uh, the Nelson name should sound familiar to everybody. <laughs> you know, we're going to start right in with that. Okay. We were having such a good conversation, and now it's like, okay, let's drop the name. Oh, I love it. I'm proud of I know, and that's the great thing. It's Willie's granddaughter. Yes. And we are just, I mean, thrilled to death to have the presence in our town. And not just for one night, for two nights, right? Yep, we're here two nights, and we were here, we were at Eagle last night. Yeah. So I'm getting my little tour of Colorado in. A little tour. You're doing the back route. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And it's my first time in Colorado, uh -huh. so I am glued to the windows and staring at these mountains with the snow on them. You're taking a lot of pictures? Yes. Lots yeah. of pictures, lots of videos. Scenic Colorado. It is. It's one of the prettiest states I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Y'all did a good job. Well, you know, I, I won't take any credit for that, because I'm not that great old. Great spirit. Yeah, great. yeah. And uh, it's going to be here when we're gone. Yeah. That's the great thing. If we don't mess it up too much. Right, well, there's that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're pretty much environmental and conscious around here, and so that's why Charles is developing the back lot, and you're the inaugural, inaugural concert, which is going to be great. Uh huh. So we're like the first ones for the back lot? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, well, you know. We're building a stage. We're right still now. building a stage right now, I know. But yeah, the Silver Moon Productions in the back lot is. Uh, partner with KVCM Radio now. Okay. We get our KVCMRadio.com banner on the front. They're painting it inside right now. And it looks good. Because it says have the, the mountain in the background. Yep. yep. Yeah. So tell me about your particular twist on your music. Okay. Well, um, so I'm inspired by old country. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of what brings the country to the table in our band. And my guys rock. Um, I met JB about in 2012 through a mutual friend. I had just got through nursing my babies. I have um, twins that are eight now and a little girl that's almost six. So about three years ago, four years ago, 2012, I had um, finished nursing my daughter and was able to get out. And I, I had um, been inspired to write all these songs after my kids were born. Mm -hmm. So I had written some stuff down and had some voice memos and things. And um, went out to go find a place to record these songs. And through a mutual friend met JB, went over there, and, um, and he said, well, let's just write together. Let's start writing some songs. So, and so we started writing, and he's very rock and roll. He's got, um, he likes a cheap trick, and who, yeah. and um, Kiss, stuff. Yeah. you know, yeah. And then, um, and then I'm, of course, my mom sheltered me when I was little. It was classic country, Papa Willie songs, mm -hmm. Loretta Lynn, Dolly Parton, um, all the old classics, and country, or and gospel Christian music. Of course. So I was very yeah. sheltered to that as a youngster. And when I go to write songs, it's kind of the country. Country is what I automatically, what comes out. It's well. When I start to write songs. That's what you're, you know, familiar with. And, yes. You know, so the Papa Willie, that's. The, yeah, from um, from very young, going to his shows and yeah. being around that, um, it, he was always working. You mm -hmm. know, it wasn't it wasn't until I was probably a teenager that it uh, really clicked that it was as big of a deal as it is as he is. You know, um, but but yeah, his music is definitely inspirational to me. I don't think that I would have that country shuffle thing. That's automatically what I want to go to when we start writing songs. Yeah, it's yeah. Fast country shuffle. Um, but yeah, I'm so proud of him. And um, my daddy was his son, and he died in '91. And um, I say this because a lot of people think Lucas is my dad. He's my uncle. Uh -huh. He's five years younger than me, and Uncle Micah is six years younger than me. See, and that's, you know. Willie is such a presence, you know, and everyone goes, hey, Willie, for so many reasons, and 
he doesn't really talk a lot about the family and it's probably a protection thing or yeah. you know because yeah I, I we talk to a lot of people like that and it's like no leave the family out of it but this is a an american classic royalty right you know you guys really are and everybody knows that yeah. that associates with the nelson name he's such a I don't understand how one person can be on everybody's side, or at least <clears throat> make everybody feel yeah. like he's on your side. He's always been for the underdog, you know? Oh, yeah. In any situation, he is for the underdog. Oh, um, man, the farm aid stuff is just classic, and, and God love him, you know? Somebody's got to stand up for that. And the horses, you know? Our Absolutely. family has been going to D.C. for the past decade trying to get the bill passed that will stop horse yeah, slaughter. Horses, yeah. So there's no horse slaughter in America right now. Yeah. So there's no horse slaughter uh, houses, mm -hmm. horse slaughter plants. But um, they're taking horses to Mexico and Canada in these double deck cattle trailers that aren't made for horses. Yeah. So it's inhumane way of carrying them around. Um, so the bill that we're trying to get passed now is the SAFE Act. And it's the Safeguard American Food Export Act. They keep changing the names oh, of the of bills, you yeah, know? Yeah, um, So contact your congressman and um, let them know to support the SAFE Act so we can get it passed this year, you know? Well, you know, we have uh, we have Senator Bennett and Senator Garner, Gardner that uh, hopefully will catch this interview. Yeah. I'm going to send it to him. Oh, good. And, uh, you know, I didn't expect to talk politically, but boy, this is, I mean, if anything, to protect the American natural West, yeah. period. Who is, helps build America? But that's horses, right. Yeah. You know? um, yeah. And that, and horses have always been a big part of my grandpa's life yeah. and our family. He's rescued over 70 uh, or over 80, at least 70 of them directly from the slaughter. Wow. So, um, so I'm super market? proud of him for that. Uh -huh. And him standing up and I don't want to for the welfare of horses and animals altogether. We started a nonprofit organization um, called Willie's Kids. Of course. To provide humane education into schools like um, schools teach social studies mm -hmm. and um, in math and English. We think humane education should be another subject in it that's taught. Yeah. So um, we started a nonprofit called Willie's Kids and um, got our nonprofit status and now we're putting lesson plans together to try to get or we're um, hiring teachers to put lesson plans together for humane education and then we're going to try to push it into schools globally so that our next generations will be more compassionate and hopefully um, hopefully the way we uh, factory food and stuff will be changed here in the next yeah. generation oh know? definitely so um, everyone's rebelling against GMO and what's in your food and right. the national chains. And Uncle Lucas and Uncle Micah are with Neil Young. They're backing they're backing Neil Young right now right. for the Monsanto tour. Of course, yeah. So um, if anything, what I'm most proud of about my family is to try to raise awareness and make good changes, you know, try to make good changes in this world that we live in. Yeah, no, that's, that's absolutely the right way to go about it. Like, we were just talking about our kids. And, uh, you know, I said, my 15-year-old is like, what am I going to do when I'm 18? The, the, the corporate scramble is a path to a good, successful, rich life, maybe. But people are, are just not satisfied with the work they're doing anymore. You know, there's no pride in workmanship and the manufacturing is shifted overseas. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to buy everything and look at the label to see what you're really buying and where it's made. But, uh, you know, that's, this is just a, a great time to, I'm going to take a break and see how that actually Good. sounds because we're a little bit kind of far away. No breaks. <laughs> it's, a, you're, you're, it's all good to go through my purse.